What's a historical fact that you had to learn on your own and not in school? I'll go first. This is Lake Lanier in North Georgia, and I had to learn that this lake was built on top of a black town named Oscarville. Now, Lake Lanier was created in 1956, but we have to go back to 1912 to get a little piece of its origin story. Oscarville, Georgia was a prosperous black community that consisted of over 1,100 black people, most of whom descended directly from free enslaved people. They had their own schools, their own churches, their own hospital, all of it. But all of that would change between September 5th and September 12th, 1912, when a 22-year-old white woman named Ellen Grice and an 18-year-old white woman named May Crow would both report that black men had assaulted them. The police would go on a search and eventually arrest and intimidate 16-year-old Ernest Knox and coerce him into a confession. A mob of 2,000 white men had assembled, called for the hanging of Ernest Knox, who was eventually found guilty with another black teenager named Oscar Daniel. 8,000 white people congregated for their hanging. White terrorists and vigilante group called the Night Riders then made it their mission to drive every black person out of town. Over the next several years, 98% of the residents of Oscarville were either forced out or killed because they refused to leave. The deeds of the black-owned land and black-owned houses conveniently then found their way into the hands of white people. Oscarville would eventually become a ghost town and it would eventually be flooded in the 1950s to create Lake Lanier. The lake is named after Sidney Lanier, a white man and former Confederate soldier. Did y'all know that?